Hey everyone, how is it going? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, guys, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So I have another what is in their heart space collective reading. So I'm excited to see what comes through. If you can do me the honor to hit that like button, support this channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're not part of our wonderful soul family here. And also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I'm going live or when I am uploading videos, guys, okay? So perfect. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Sorry, guys. The thing didn't want to go out. All right. So what is in their heart space for your person or whoever you're connecting with for, you know, however this is going to resonate with you? You know, I like this card. The nurse card was the first card coming through. So I'm feeling a sense of, you know, this person really getting balanced within their life, really getting balanced within their emotion, self-growth, self-focus and soul finding. You know, I feel like if I'm looking at this from a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy, I would say that both of you are in this place right now where you're really working on you. You know, you're really focused on career, business, children, you know, work, money, just really getting yourself back to the best version of yourself. So I'm really liking that to start off this reading. I feel like someone's in this space where it's like, you know what, I'm just going to take care of me, hashtag self love, self care. So I totally respect that. Because I feel like you can't be for someone else if you're not good for yourself. You got to you got to be able to love yourself, right? You got to be able to not feel selfish or not feel you know, bad for taking care of you. So I like this, that what's in their heart spaces right now is that they're really just taking care of themselves and that you guys are really taking care of you. So I do like that. I, I, I feel like that is definitely um, a good message to get. So, all right. What else is in their heart space for the collective, please? What else is in their heart space? Pride. This person, arrogance, ego, and stubbornness. This person could be in their pride though. They could be, you know, just kind of in this energy of just being in their ego, kind of doing their own thing. It's kind of what I'm hearing. What else can I say for the collective, please? What is in the heart space of the collective? What's in the heart space of the collective, please? What's in the heart space of the collective? What's in the heart space of the collective? Realization and distance came through. So... I do get a message here of someone being of distance from you, whether it's a physical distance or emotional distance, separation, space, or blockage. There could be a blockage going on in this connection right now. I also have a realization, which is empathy, understanding, and awakenings. I feel like this person is coming to terms with this relationship and this connection means to them right now. But it's like they're really focused on themselves. They're really focused on bettering themselves, which, again, isn't a bad thing. But I feel like they may come from a place of being in their ego right now or very stubborn energy. But it's like with the separation, being away from you, it, it, they're kind of realizing how much you may really mean to them. And that might be what they need. They might need to have that distance from you, have that space from you to realize that, wait, this, this is someone that I don't want to lose. This is someone that I value. This is someone that I have true feelings for. So I don't see this as being a bad thing if you're away from this person, because I feel like it's giving them this awakening and might even help them come out of this ego or stubbornness that they're in. I mean, they're focused on themselves which again, some, some point of it is ego, but I feel like they're just trying to figure out where they are and what they truly want. And I mean, you got to allow people to do what they're going to do. Right. So I do feel like this person is realizing that this may be a relationship they want to work on. What else is in the heart space of this person, please spirit? What else is in the heart space of this person? Thank you. Second chance. Yeah. It's like, they're realizing they want a second chance with you. They're realizing they want this relationship. They want to make a they want to make amends with you, but they want an opportunity to come in and reconcile because they have gone through awakening or they're going through awakening and they're getting a better understanding of this connection and what it truly means to them. But it feels like the space and the separation from you is what's giving them the chance to see it. Right? Maybe they didn't see it because y'all were spending some time together or there was arguments or fights. 
you know, whatever the case is, it was like y'all had to be kind of separated. It was like the universe spirit separated y'all to to come around and um, take some time. I feel like you had to take some time for yourself and this person also had to take some time for themselves. But it's like during this period, it's like, man, I, I really wish I could have a second chance with this person. What else is in the heart space, please, spirit? What else is in the heart space? What else is in the heart space, please? Open heart, recipitive, empathy, vulnerable. This person wants to open their heart to you. They want a second chance here to be vulnerable with you to, you know, they, they want to offer you the same energy and love that you've given them. And again, it falls back to them being able to kind of reconnect with themselves to listen to themselves, to listen to what it is they truly want. So I do feel like this pullback energy of like, they had to kind of go with it and connect with themselves. What else can I say for this collective message, please? What else can I say for this collective message? What else can I say for this collective message, please? What else can I say for this collective message, please? Uh, what else can I say for this collective message, please? conflict yeah there may have been some conflict between you guys you may have clashed about things there were some things that were like different or maybe they felt at one point that you two were incompatible with one another but it's like i feel like they want to be recipitive to this in engaging energies between you where it's like they want to be open to the idea of furthering this connection or furthering this relationship with you what else can I say for the collective message, please? If this is resonating, guys, please hit that like button. Please show your girl some love. Hit that notification bell and also subscribe to my channel so you guys know when I'm alive and, and when I'm uploading new videos. Much love and respect to everyone. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. All right. Yeah, this person fantasizes about you. They daydream a lot about you. They imagine a future with you. Um, this person has a lot of sexual energy towards you too. So, I mean, it, there's a potential that you've already been with this person and it's like, they're lusting after you. They're craving after you. They, they want you. They fantasize about being with you. They fantasize about being close to you. You know, I, I feel like this person's very exhausted. Depletion drains a long journey. I feel like this person's going through a lot and it's requiring a lot from them. So whether it's work, job, school, like I just, I, I feel like they've got so much going on right now that they, they sometimes don't know how to handle that. They, they don't know how to handle all that they've got going on. Oh, what else can I say? Please spare him. Bitterness, resentment, angle, hurtful words. So for some of you, there could have been like, they're resenting not telling you how they feel or they resent not giving you a chance or they resent not you know, having a relationship with you. I feel like for some of you, there could have been some hurtful words that were exchanged between you and this person. So they're kind of in this like bitterness mode. What else can I say for the collective energy, please? What else can I say for the collective energy? Ooh, I just said that they're lusting after you with a fantasy card, forbidden, non-committed sexual energy. The sexual energy is heightened, but then non-committed is coming up here, right? So it's like, yeah, we know that they want you sexually. For some of you, this person sees you as a booty call one night stand, friends with benefits energy. So be cautious of that if that's your story. But for some of you, maybe that's what it started off with. And then now they're realizing that they want to open their heart to something deeper here. They want to be more vulnerable with you. But I mean, this person's definitely sexually attracted to you. But the non-committed is the part that kind of is sticking out to me because I feel like even with all of this, they still don't know if they are willing to commit to a full-on relationship. What else can I say, please, for the collective message? What else can I say, please, for the collective message? What else can I say, please, for the collective message? Rejection. For some of them, abandoned, dismissed, and irrational fear. For some of them, it's coming up where they're, it's like they're afraid that if they come back and ask you for a second chance, you're going to reject them based on all this other energy that's coming through. Maybe because you've already called them out on the friends with benefits or one night stand, or you already, you know, felt like a booty call. And it's like, now they want to come back and they want to offer you something real, but they're scared that that's how you 
feel that's how they view you. Does that make sense? So maybe they're scared of, you know, now being rejected by you if they come in with that offer. That's some tea there. What else can I say for this heart space, please? What else can I say for this heart space video? Past life, they deja vu repeated patterns, karmic lessons. This person feels like they've known you in another life. They feel very like close to you and very like, um, like best friend energy, soul connected energy. Like they're trying to figure out like, why does things feel so familiar with this person? What else do I need to say for this collective message? Divine masculine's coming in strong. So someone who's coming in with yang energy, masculine energy. So divine masculine's in the house. He's making it known. So divine masculine is coming back around. That's kind of feeling I'm getting. He's making it known. He wants to make it known. Yeah, the heart fog just flew out. Mixed signals, block emotions, messed up. He's messed up with how he feels about you. So he gives you mixed signals. And then we got breaking point. But it's like, it's not the breaking point limit. Find it straw overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed about how he feels about you. But, you know, it's because his mind's saying one thing, his heart's saying another. But it's like he's at that final straw of just knowing that this is, you know, a relationship that he wants to pour into. A relationship that he wants to be in. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys receive a message about, you know, coffee or a date night or, you know, having a heart to heart conversation or, you know, just spending some, spending some quality time together um, and, and trying to make this connection or trying to make this relationship work. What else can I say, please, Spirit? Yeah, because they're obsessed with you, infatuated duration and addiction. They're addicted to you. They can't walk away from you no matter what they do. It's at that breaking point where it's like they're getting karma for how they treated you. You know, they're going through a lot of debts, cause and effects, consequences. They're facing some consequences right now <coughs> because they they chose they chose to treat you the way that they did. Yeah, possibilities. They want to take a risk with you. They want to take many adventures with you. And it influences. There could have been some third-party energy going on here. There could have been some other people in their head telling them what to do. But they got attachments to other things. So that may be what the karma is that they're facing is that, you know, they got to get rid of the third-party energy and start listening to themselves. So that might be what they're choosing to do is to walk away from this other energy because um, they want that second chance with you. They want to make things right with you. They want to get out of their ego and stop being stubborn. Anything else I need to tell the collective? Some of you, this relationship, this connection, there was a hex. Someone put a curse on this connection, on this relationship. It could have been a witchcraft or, you know, two people are coming from this position of being very negative about this connection. Anything else, spirit, please? Anything else? Some of you, they may be um, drinking conflicted energy. They are conflicted about how they feel about you. They need to make a decision, but there could be multiple choices around them. Uh, they're bringing a lot of hot and cold energy in right now. They don't, they know what they do. It's like they know, they know what they need to do, but they, they haven't had the courage to come forward and, and really make that choice or that decision yet. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else I need to share with the collective? Thank you. Ecstasy. Yeah. Chasing thrills, excitement, and good time. For some of them, they are reminiscing about the good times with you. They like the chase with you. They feel like excitement when they're around you. Yeah. I don't know. If that resonates, guys, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If this is your story, this is some crazy stuff going on here. But um, sending you all love and light, and I'll talk to you soon.